it's going to be a vlog this time um, i went to jaipur uh, for my exams it was second semester so i thought of a um, lot of so many interesting things that happened so i thought why don't i share those with you guys and also i can talk about my exams as well so that you able to get an idea on how it will be and what are the topics that might be covered and yeah <laughs> it was very interesting it was very hectic too but still i enjoyed i met my friends and it was bit it's very fun let's get into the video my flight was at midnoon so i started bit earlier because it takes 2 hours from my place to reach the airport One of my friends joined me because uh, she's also from Bangalore. The journey starts. I was a bit hungry, so I had my lunch, which I prepared from home. It was good. I don't know. I always feel hungry when I'm traveling, but that happens. Can you see the difference of land? from greeneries to deserts we are landing on <laughs> yes after 2.5 hours of journey i reached jaipur airport then i took a cab to reach the university we have already booked a guest room there so only thing we need to do is check in nice cab we were expecting a different climate because it's summer but it was raining which is unexpected after settling up things i went for a walk um because it was raining just on that day all other days were very hot more than expected then i had my food at canteen it was really good then we started for our exams it's day 1 we can't imagine i haven't experienced this kind of summer anywhere any time in my life yeah she is my friend she is also doing masters with me yes it's our first exam it's a group project so we have done it in a group um the topic is emerging technologies for elderly people with low vision we wanted to design a similar product um, a kind of uh, smart glass but in an improvised way with ar and vr technologies of low vision elderly people with less usability issues then the existing products we have done our secondary research which includes market segment analysis key players revenues and its features and competitor analysis and our primary research which is in terms of um taking interviews target audience observations and understanding motivations likes and dislikes frustrations everything about the users then this one is the existing solution we took that as inspiration uh, this is new eyes which is um actually taking like doing a great job in inventing this producing this uh, smart glasses for the elderly people but there are some disadvantages so we wanted to also work on it because like um, we can include some of the disadvantages like multiple items that needs to be carried with them while using like battery power bank charger remote control and it was also very heavy to wear so elderly people will find it difficult to carry with them all the time because every um, items needs to be carried so we designed a product with light weighing and with touch pads and the glass itself the smart glass itself and the camera wide field of view and a long battery life and so on so our project presentation went very good so this is our product we have found we have created and this product is from patronics our peer group was having it so we just trying it on After exams we were just roaming here and there in the college so it felt just to see what is there and what and yeah it's the next day morning view from our room it was quite nice and also it's a day to for exam the second exam that is the my subject is uh, I mean the subject is ethnographic research it's an individual jury i did a research on agricultural families in tamil nadu um it's particularly one district so and did a ethnographic study on suicidal ideation among rural farmers 
and also uh, introduced them towards the centrally sponsored schemes and state schemes which they were not aware of. This is my research analysis and the uh, outcomes. Yeah, the presentation was really went very well. And in the afternoon, we were just roaming inside the college. There was some preparations going on for DBW, that is Design Education for a Better World. It's an international conference for design education. The conference held at Digi Palace, Jaipur. We reached there around 9 p.m. Uh, and got my participant ID because I am presenting my another research paper here. Yeah, this is where I'm gonna present my paper. I love paintings, so I just came to see them clearly after inauguration. Those were really, really amazing. There were a few other styles and uh, people were explaining uh, regarding the art. What are the crafts and things they have done to us. It was really interesting to hear all of them. Then we all had our lunch. Yes. Next is like my Come presentation. <laughs> Method of teaching. That is uh, uh, when it comes to academic subjects and theoretical concepts. So there are some backgrounds and list of design principles that we can follow for this methodology. The paper is on pedagogy learning methodologies and guidelines. I have presented a paper on how we can use the pedagogical guidelines to improve the digital learning environment and an implementation of constructivist learning. And the feedback was also good, so it went well too. Then in the evening, event We Waited has been started. Yes, it's a fashion show, presentation by the fashion department students. It was our fourth and fifth exam jury together. Subject is omnipresence and service design. So yeah, we have done our SWOT analysis, secondary research, service feature analysis, and competitive analysis because we have done a uh, research on uh, Amazon Prime videos. And again, primary research comes during the user persona, empathy, and journey mapping, ideation, affinity mapping, etc., etc., etc. And finally, the solutioning. After exams, we all went to Choki Dani, that's a, which is a traditional Rajasthani resort, which is not a usual kind of resort. It was really different. I was not expecting that. They have ventured into numerous brands across the different market segments, including foods, villages, place hotel, Kalagram. had a very great time there. Then it was my sixth exam again. It's a written exam, logistics. It's all about reimagining the user perspectives and leveraging the power of visual communication and mobile UX applications, creating an omni-channel brand experience and designing some smart logistics apps and IoT-based services, designing the supply management suite of business softwares and how we can implement them as a like we can in a smart technology for autonomous vehicles or any other um, brands or whatever you can think of and also deploying some uh, smart warehousing and inventory management solutions all these are included in the written exam and then it was my seventh exam again the next day it's in, on interaction design it mostly talks about user experience and usabilities and then a lot more which cannot be explained in an easy way. And it was my birthday too, so we celebrated with a cake. 
And the final exam is social development. This is also a jury project. We need to present our social and personal development activities. We did throughout the semester like field visit, workshops, certifications, community volunteering and participation, etc. Yeah, so all of my exams are done. I returned soon because I also had few more of my office work of the day needs to be completed. Then I started to catch my flight. Yes, it's in the midnight. I did not download my boarding passes. When I tried, network was not working due to some Bandar Jaipur. Thank God, our cab was already pre-booked, so we were heading. And then I was literally trying again and again to download my boarding pass in the meantime. I was very tired while traveling. It was really a very big journey throughout one, more than a week, I think. Yeah, finally I came back to Bangalore. Hope it was interesting and you got some insights from exam syllabus and projects that I did and meet you all in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you.